Hey guys, Rivers here from Tech Connect, and today what I have right here in front of me is a brand new mini PC from Minix. This is the N42C4. It's a tiny PC running Windows 10 Professional, and it's got a lot of features that you don't see much on these ultra small PCs, including upgradability. First off, I'll have a link to where you can buy this guy for a good price in the video description down below. Just click the text that says show more. So first cool feature, and this was on the previous version, but it's what's called Minix's VersaMount. It basically allows you to mount your mini PC right to the back of a monitor. So this way you get that clean, all-in-one computer monitor look like an iMac, but for way less money. I totally love this feature. It's so much cleaner than having cords going all across your desktop. Next, we're gonna take a look inside the N42C because this is where maybe the best feature is found. This mini PC actually is pretty upgradable. Not only can you add more DRAM, but you can also add an M.2 SSD. Luckily, I had a spare M.2 drive sitting around from when I upgraded my laptop to a one terabyte SSD. So I popped it into my USB external enclosure, plugged that into the USB 3.0 port of the M42C. I used Peregrine's data migration software to make an image of the existing Windows 10 Pro onto the M.2 SSD. Once the cloning was done, I went in the BIOS and it disabled the EMMC memory, save that for a backup for later, and I changed the boot order to add the M.2 drive on top. The whole process took about 40 minutes and it was a piece of cake. Check the video description for links to the M.2 to USB 3.0 enclosure and the Peregrine data migration software because it works so well. I've used it several times now and it's worth every penny. Now let's check out the performance of this new M.2 SSD. So I'm running Crystal Disk Mark here, and this is on the eMMC memory, and it's got pretty respectable numbers, but watch what happens when we switch over to the M.2 drive. Wow, every number at least doubled, and some of them are up to six times faster than before. So the M.2 SSD makes a huge difference. And I noticed that when using the device after installing the SSD too, it's much faster. I mean, it's like it got a processor upgrade. So I really like going with the M.2 SSD on this. I also ran Geekbench on here and it got a respectable score of 1526 and 4294 for multi-core and a slight bump up again after installing the M.2 SSD. And just for comparison, here's one of the original Minix mini PCs running an Intel Atom 3735 and the new player pretty much doubles the old player's performance. Next, let's take a look at the ports because the Minix gives you a really amazing selection of ports for something this small. First, you've got three USB 3.0 ports on the side and these come in really handy for accessories. You could even expand with a USB hub for even more ports. Over here on the back, we've got gigabit ethernet, a mini display port, HDMI 1.4, a USB-C port which can output at 4K at 60 frames per second, and an audio slash headphone jack with a really cool bonus feature that you can run optical audio to it using this a little adapter that's included in the box as well. Now remember that USB type C port on the back? Well it can be used to run a 4K monitor at up to 60 frames per second using a USB-C to HDMI cable like this guy right here from Minix and this is going to be a really good option for your display out Plus, you can use it at the same time as your HDMI port to run two monitors, and you can even hook a third monitor up to this guy using the mini display port as well. So to me, this would be extremely productive for multiple monitors, like say in an office where you're looking at stocks or multiple web pages and office documents all at the same time. I love the idea of three monitors at once on here. Oh, and by the way, this cable is really useful. You can use it on your newer Android smartphones that have USB-C ports to mirror the screen or watch movies. I'll have a link to it in the description of this video below. So I tested the N42C on some YouTube videos all the way up to 4K at 60 frames per second, which are the videos you see here. And it played pretty well, although there was a little bit of stuttering when the video would first start. And I'm not sure if that was the processor or buffering, but once it started playing, it would smooth out. Also, this guy does have a small fan built in, which I think is a good idea because it makes it a lot more durable and you can run heavier workloads on it without causing problems. Now, it's so quiet that you can barely hear it unless you put your head right up to it. I put the camera up next to it to see if I could capture it, but you really can't hear much. Here's what it sounds like. 
The only real weakness of this mini PC is it's not going to be very fast for heavy duty tasks like PC gaming, video editing, or 3D rendering. You're probably going to want to buy a $1500 to $2000 i7 or Threadripper system if you're planning on doing a lot of heavy duty encoding or 3D modeling. I actually tested the video encoding on here using Handbrake and a 1GB MP2 file converting it to H.264 and it took about 20 minutes to do it. Just for comparison, my Threadripper 1950 did it in about 3.5-4 minutes. So the question is, where will I be using this mini PC? And the answer is, I'll be using it actually in a bedroom that has a PC in it because it's almost completely silent, makes no heat, and it's got a super compact form factor so it looks nice and clean. As far as Windows 10 mini PCs go, this is probably one of the nicest ones out there. I mean, you get Windows 10 Pro, that's like $150 by itself. Plus, it's got a ton of ports and even upgradability, which most of the other ones don't have. So I definitely recommend the N42C if you want something silent, something that can mount on the back of your PC to look nice and clean, or something that could be used at a business to run two or three monitors and have a nice clean look without cables going everywhere. I'll have some links to compatible M.2 SSDs in the video description down below, as well as a lot of the other hardware you saw in the video, including the USB hub, the keyboard, the N42C itself. The links will be to the best prices that I can find on those items, so check them out. And if you really want to help me out a lot, hit that subscribe button down there and a little notification bell so you'll see new videos when I release them. I don't release them too often, so that way you won't miss any. Thanks for watching, and as always, aloha.